Hey everybody and welcome to Hexile Gaming. I'm Scott and I've got a match here in the top 16 cut for the Kyber Cup. This is Taco versus Fun Walk. We've got 5As versus Rebel Salad, Cassian, Braylon, Tinnum, and Arvel. ZZ Greer, Zari, Runny, uh, Blue Squadron Recruit. Everybody's got Heroic and Optics except Zari who's got Intimidation. Zari is the one that can perform an action even after bumping, so makes sense. She doesn't mind bumping. Give her intimidation. Braylon and Tendum starting at the bottom of the board. Turn. Start facing the middle. Who says, hey Scott, maybe you can give Funwalk a digital version of your Pixel Intimidation card. I would give him the full thing. Intimidation Arvel. Let's... Oh, there we go. Currently Arvel. Facing down the bottom of the board. Arvel, the true A-Wing, RZ-1, wants to bump, lower your agility with Intimidation, and still shoot at range zero. Got one configuration here. That's on Tinnum. So no double tapping, no cannons. So yeah, we've got all the RZ2s facing the right side of the board. Where does he want this engagement to happen? Green is Ronnie. Ronnie and Zari. Great combination. Ronnie can spend the focus tokens or evade tokens of friendly ships to modify his own dice. And Zari, after spending a token, can spend this charge to get a focus or evade token back. This is Zari with Intimidation. So having her out front makes a lot of sense. Taco says he's ready. Fun walk. What you got? Gonna start off with the blue squadron recruit. Focus and a boost. Ronnie banks in and focuses. Oh, you're right. Let me double check. Spend one focus token from that ship to change one of your focus results to an evade or a hit. You're right. Ronnie cannot spend evade tokens. I always see the evade there, and I think of him spending the evade token. That's not right. And I've gotten that wrong before. Thank you, Lou, for keeping me straight. Zari moves up into the middle. She's going to commit to a direction. takes an evade I think she might get targeted getting the uh, intimidation a wing off the board early would be not a bad idea I 
Ooh, goes for the boost left. That does tell us that Funwalk has player one, Arvel, moving before Zari's. A little unfortunate. Bank in from Ten Num. Currently has the S foils open. Yep, so the roll into the target lock. Not going to use it this turn. Uses the base ability for the roll into a focus. Three bank out of Braylon for the stress. Focus. Does he want to boost? He probably has it. Nope. And Azari might already have a. You know what? I was thinking it had crack shot. Does not. This is the only A wing with crack shot. Goes to the barrel roll. Ooh! He's just got it. Maybe not. Cassian, gonna shoot range three into Zari. 3v4. Cassian's got a focus, he's gonna spin it for hit hit crit. Zari, four dice and an evade token. Gets two evades, spins the token for three, takes no damage. Zizi didn't have any valid targets. Just double checking that. Oh, here's our first deleted ship of the game. Arvel takes a shield off of Zari. the restored A-Wing. And that's it. Zari loses a shield and not much else. Okay. There's a th uh, the threat of a flank here from the Blue Squadron recruit and Greer coming around the rear. Yeah, did Arvel have? All right, back to dials. Uh, let's see. I guess you don't need to go for the long flank, you can just hard turn into this gap.
I got two stressed B wings. Cassian can relieve stress from one of these ships. Raylan doesn't necessarily mind being stressed. Who do you send Arvel after? Timo says he doesn't like ZZ's position. It is kind of out there in the corner. And you just throw everything towards this corner. Zari is moving that direction. ZZ's already there. I guess ZZ could hard turn, boost, rotate. And here we go. Two hard turn from the Blue Squadron recruit. Going for that gap between the rocks. So Ronnie with a two bank. I don't think anything is going to be in those arcs. You boost away, sure does. And rotates the arc. Arvel moves up into the corner, takes a focus. Now, Zari is not Arvel. Zari gets to continue performing actions after she bumps. But unlike Arvel, she cannot boost into someone. So if she didn't already do a three bank into Arvel, she cannot force the bump. Oh, but gets it! Oh, three bank from Zari. So they're both going to intimidate each other. Uh, she could barrel roll out of this. Focus boost. Boost arc rotate. Yoda says boost rotate rotate is the call. I mean the problem is uh I think Cassian has shown the hand at what the rebels are planning to do, which is to move up into the corner. So if she boosts and rotates, she's gonna have no no um 
defensive mods, especially for Cassian, and maybe for whatever these B-Wings do. Yep, there's the boost and rotate. There's the barrel roll target lock. On to Zari. So a two straight from Braylon and a focus. All right, Greer moves in. Greer coming for the rear. I mean, don't act so surprised. Boost around the rock. Might have a range one on Braylon. Zari, two forward, takes a focus. Gonna shoot. Let's take a look at that arc. Ooh, it is just out of range one. I'm gonna shoot into Tin Num. Loses the shield. Three hits, two evades, and that is a shield on Zari. That's half points. First blood goes to Funwalk. Here's Tenum. Spins the lock on the blank and the stress for three hits. Zari. Takes two, and that is the end of an RZ2. RIP 38 to 0.
All right, Greer. Gonna shoot into 10 num as well. Two dice with focus. Spends it for two. One guaranteed. There's the evade takes one. Arvel, range two in Azari. Used her ability to get an evade. Spins the focus for one. There's two naturals. Triple blanks from Cassian. Can't all go your way. Rear shot here from Ronnie. Gonna shoot into Cassian. Could spin the blue squadrons if he wants. Nope. One crit. Cassian. One evade. Blue Squadron into Cassian. Here's the first heroic trigger of the game. Two blanks into two hits, thanks to Optics. One of eight takes one on Cassian. Fifty-one minutes remain, thirty-eight to zero. Fun walk. First onto the scoreboard. Gets the intimidation off of the board. That's kind of why I was concerned about the uh, the boost rotate. Zara just hung out to dry, no defensive mods. Paid for it. All right. So there's one stress token on the board that is or for the Rebels, that's uh, Braylon. Cassian could get rid of that. Do have Leia on the board. Don't think this is a round four, but you could. You could sloop Arbel. That could be kind of fun. Or 5k. ready to go here. Who is this Ronnie? Heading in the wrong direction. Boy, there is a lot of stuff in the way for Zizi. I think Greer's got to turn around. Right? Can you risk the U-Wing flipping around? One hard turn, barrel roll. One hard turn.
Let's see what dials are we. Looking at Braylon, last to get dialed in. Yellow here. Minnesota in the chat, cheering on one of their own. Taco. Taco says he's ready. Leia, getting triggered. Blue Squadron with the bank boost. Ronnie turns in. Does the boost arc ro rotate? Ooh. There's that sloop. Three sloop out of Arbel. Might have the crack shot lined up. Oh, goes for the boost. I was going to say he had the crack shot lined up on the blue squadron, but wants to get a little closer to the action. Now it's up to the fours. Oh, we've got Cassian. Okay. I don't think we've seen his dial yet. I think about whether to flip those wings, maybe. Yep. Does not close the wings. Stays right where he's at. He's really thinking ZZ's going to be in front of him. Maybe Tin Num can force the issue. Braylon moves in, takes a focus, maybe a barrel roll. Fails it to the right, I think. Gets the stress. Ooh, that's, hmm. Maybe that's in case ZZ does a fast maneuver? Might look at a barrel roll. There it is. Gets a target lock. Takes a stress. ZZ, what you got? Oh, let's do Greer first. Bumps into the back of Cassian. And speaking of bumping into the back of Zari, into the back of Tendum, not going to get any shots. Won't be able to use the ability until somebody shoots her. Braylon going to start us off here. I'm seeing three hits into Ronnie, who's taken two. Ronnie on half. Greer. I think Greer was supposed to shoot. No, sorry. Uh, B Wing, then Greer. Tindum didn't have any shots. One hit. Doesn't have any focus to optics with. One evade. BM evade there from the B-Wing. Range 2, Cassian. On to Zari. Gets all paint. Spins it for 3. No mods here for Zari. 
Gets two evades. That's not bad. Stay stays above half. Arvel's got a range one shot into the backside though. Three v three. Or does he want to do a two v three? Into Greer. I think you go after Zari. Yep. Go in range one. I like it. I don't like that roll. One hit. Two natural evades. Why did he spend it? Because Blue Squadron can shoot into Arvel now. Ronnie's going to start us off, though. 2v3 into Cassian. One hit. Two evades. You know, I bet Blue Squadron is going to shoot into 10 num. Oh, nope, going to go range one into Cassian. Okay. Uh, 3v2, two hits. Optics for three. Cassian, two dice, one natural evade takes two shields down on the Ewing. Arvel with a very disappointing roll there. Range one, two blanks and a focus. Great block on ZZ otherwise. 58 to 0. Braylon gets half points on Ronnie. Let's take a look at that U Wing. Uh, 5 and 3 is 8, so one more damage into Cassian will be half. Ronnie stressed and staring at this rock too hard left most likely Let's see Cassian Cassian's ability is one to three so just got to make sure Braylon's not bumping into Cassian that's probably impossible anyway given that position let's give Leia back a charge Does he rotate Tenum? We got one Talons and two Ks, right? Yep. Braylon, always the last to get dialed in. Uh, there's a stress on Arvel and a stress on Braylon. I think Braylon's probably the one you get rid of. What a 
2k put you on that rock probably Ooh, gets rid of the one on Tindum. I didn't even see it. Curse these old eyes. Ronnie fills that one talent gap. Arbel moves up, takes a focus. Does he want a boost? Goes for the boost, nice. There's the stop from Cassian. Doesn't rotate. It's the one bank attempted. Talon roll from Tindum. Greer with a one hard stays right where he's at. Oh, ZZ turns right in front of Braylon and Cassian. Takes the focus. Going to use this opportunity for a range one shot into Cassian. Woo! Three natties gets to hold on to the focus. Two natties from Cassian takes one. That should be half points. There it is. Taco on the board, 29 to 58. Zara uses the ability to get an evade token. B Wing's gonna shoot. I think Tindum's the only one with a shot. Range one with crack shot. Unless he wants to shoot in the blue squadron recruit. Cassian and Tindum both have that shot. There it is, four dice, range one. Spins the stress, and that's more than the A-Wing has. I think one of those is going to get cracked. Yes, two shields. Nope, one shield, sorry. He does have crack shot, right? Yeah, I'm not crazy. Two hits, taking it. Shields down on Tindum, that should be half points. Two evades. Ronnie, range one into Braylon. One hit. Oh no, uh, into Arvel. Oh. No, sorry, Arvel into Ronnie. What am I doing? Uh, heroic into two evades. Beautiful.
Ronnie spins Zari's focus and his own for optics and a focus. Takes one on Cassian. Three remain. 55 to 81. Blue Squadron out the back into Cassian. Range one, three dice. Is that range one? Yep, sure is. Three hits. One of eight takes two. Cassian on one hull. Thirty-two minutes remaining. Taco needs 27 points to lead. The rest of Cassian will give him 29. There was a missed opportunity there. Crack shot into Zari. Would have only put her on one hull, but take what you can get. Lay it back to two charges be active next round, but the following. Cassian Stress, not able to use his ability on himself. So, probably Arvel. All right, Taco says he's ready. Tinnum and Arvel still getting dialed in.
All right, Cassian gets rid of Arbel's stress. Blue Squadron moves up, takes the focus. Focus, rotate there from Ronnie. Focus boost out of Arbel. K turn out of Braylon. <clears throat> Ooh, one bank from 10 num slips right through. Are they gonna go after the blue squadron? Hard turn from Greer. Staring at Braylon, who has currently taken no damage. Could just focus rotate. Uh, shooting a 10. Hard turn in from ZZ. Is he going to rotate the arc? To shoot into... Yep. Wants Cassian dead. Two v two, both have a focus. Spends it for two. Cassian needs two paint, doesn't get it. Cassian, GG well played. You're out. Eighty four to eighty one, very close. Gonna shoot into Zari. I think it'd be three v four, right? Shooting Arani sees a better chance of getting something through. Oh, this is Braylon, yeah, so it doesn't have a stress to spend. Just the rerolls, two hits. Spins the focus, takes nothing. Ten numb. With a focus, gonna shoot into Ronnie. Spins the focus for three hits. Ronnie, three dice with a focus. Spins the focus. Takes one. Ronnie lives on one. Arvel doesn't have any shots. So Ronnie's going to start shooting. Three dice, that tells us range one into Braylon. Ooh, hoo -hoo. Hit, hit, crit. What's happening? I think we're going backwards to Greer shot, one hit. 
re-rolls with the stress, gets the evade, and now back to Ronnie. Shield on Braylon. Optics for two. One of eight takes one on ten num. No, uh, what? One damage into Tendum, one shield on Braylon, one damage into Ronnie, and of course, Cassian off the board. 21 minutes to go, 84 to 81, very close game. Three points separate them, so few points, even I can do that math. obvious targets. Three of these A-wings are all heading away. There's no Cassian here to get rid of the stress, so you can't turn around easily to face them. Zizi's a tank. I mean, I guess you could try and turn everything toward, well, two of these ships towards Zizi. Just feels like a losing endeavor. Focus has the arc pointing backwards. Arvel, two hard turn, relief stress. for a boost forward. Eighteen minutes. Ten numb. Moves forward, has a nice shot. Ooh, goes for the barrel roll. Linked action target lock?
Raylan looking for a roll. Looks like he hit the wrong direction. There it is. Focus target lock. Or focus arrow roll. There we go. Rotates the arc backwards on Greer. Focus boost. And you might end up in that crack shot arc. Yep. Let's see if he remembers it. Got crack shot on both B wings. Two V one, that must be into Braylon. He's not gonna optics. Reroll with his stress. Gets the evade. There's the range two from Braylon with Bullseye. Two crits, gonna reroll the blank. Spins the focus for hit crit crit. Should be able to crack shot this. There's a blank. This Oh, it gets two. Crack shot it. Crack shot it. He does it. Two go through. And that is a dead ZZ. Ooh. 84 to 103. Fun walk back on top. Tenum going to take a shot into the blue squadron recruit. Three eyeballs spins that stress gladly. Spins the focus here on blue, takes one. Greer. Out the rear, 3v1. Two hits. <laughs> Mike says that face when you get to crack shot an A-wing that moves after you. That might tell you you need to spend more time in your activation. Think about where you're going. Think about those abilities. Maybe look at your opponent's side of the table. See the only upgrade on those ships. <laughs> well, you know what? Tendum has foils, so there is there are two upgrades there. Here's two hits out the back. Is that range two? Nope, range three. Taking two. Ten numb. Is dead? No, on one. I can count. Uh oh. Now ten numb is dead. And Taco's right back on top. 109 to 103. 13 minutes left. Arvel and Braylon versus the world. Braylon is stressed. Get a better look at that token. There it is hiding from us. So Greer's on one. No, Ronnie's on one. Greer's full. Blue Squadron's taken one. Hmm, Ronnie. Let's 
How much time do you have? 12. You take a turn to... Regroup here with Braylon. Moves up and focuses. Does he want to boost? Yes, Braylon is stressed. Yep, goes for the boost. Bank from Braylon and a focus. Uh oh. Uh oh. Do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? One hit and a focus, not gonna spend it. <laughs> Blanks out on Braylon, shields down, half points. I had too many shields on him. Uh, no, 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 on one, on one. Not half points, take it all back. Two dice, can he get two hits here? No, he can't, focus for one. Yeah, crack shot. Not gonna help you there. That was Greer anyway. It would have been one shield. No big deal. Heroic. Where did that focus token come from? One of eight. So Arvel definitely turns in here to go after Ronnie. Turn around from Braylon. Ronnie ability. Okay. Got it. You're right. It's kind of what Ronnie does. And Greer didn't have to spend that focus, so Ronnie got to. I'm all aboard. Eight minutes left, 109 to 103. I guess Big Brain is like a three bank left. Focus boost. You just, you gotta know that Arvel's coming in here. Can, does that fit, Davin? A two hard away? Uh, 
All right. Blue Squadron continues his orbit of the solar system. Going to focus rotate. Oh. Ronnie. At 40 chess goes into the backside of Braylon. Focus boost. Crack shot enabled. 2K. Ronnie sacrificed to the rebel gods. Why? Why though? But why? <laughs> Taco just wanted some drama. And there's not even tokens for Ronnie to spend from his friends. Three dice with two re-rolls here. We got one hit, gonna re-roll these blanks. Hit crit, Ronnie, three dice, needs two evades, gets him. Ronnie has one hull. Here are three dice with a focus, please Arvel, no! One hit! Needs two natural evades to survive, and he does! Ronnie! No! What is happening? <laughs> two shots into Ronnie, who had no mods. There was crack shot. Ronnie, but the natties hit crit into Braylon! He's gonna get half points on Braylon. He's gonna get a shield and a crit on Braylon. Hull breach on Braylon. It's not enough to survive those two attacks, but then you turn it around and you push two damage through on the B-Wing and get half points. 136 to 103. That is, I think that was the second time that's happened to Arvel specifically. Range one, two blanks and a focus. I think he may have even had crack shot lined up the last time he did that. That is just. <sighs> two modded attack dice. Two, two modded attacks into an unmodded defense. Heroic, the forever bod. Didn't use it. <sighs> Taco wanted to give us drama. He succeeded. That was very dramatic. Feel bad for Fun Walk. Vulcan in the chat said this was a galaxy brain decision to put Ronnie right where he's at. Somehow, Taco gazed into the future, saw what was to become of him, submitted himself to destiny. Hull breach on the B-Wing. All the damage that goes in is going to be crits now. <laughs> Lou says F for Funwalk's Night Terrors. Oh, yeah. This trauma is going to be with him for a while. Three minutes left. Possibly only one round left. Can you imagine what life could have been <laughs> if that ship had died? If it had not gotten half points on Braylon? They are now separated by 33 points. Ooh, that intimidation, though. Oh, will Braylon get a shot? I don't think so. Ooh, he'll have a shot there. Uh, not anymore. You know what? If this if this game ends with Arvel with an intimidation range zero shot that kills Ronnie, I will be happy. Uh, 
Doesn't Fun Walk have initiative? Oh, I guess he didn't have any shots. Never mind. What am I talking about? Three hits. One of eight takes two. Don't press that button. Stunned and sensor array. Focus is for hit hit crit. Where's the Trinity dodge this? Oh, it doesn't matter. Crack shot it. Hit crit going through on Ronnie. Overkill. Do you he, he really crack shot? Because he doesn't need to. I don't think so. Take Braylon down to one. Stun pilot. Sensor ray. Sensor ray is kind of funny. Well, no. I was thinking wounded. One minute left. 136 to 122. Braylon is stressed. Rocker Crocker says, why save it? Because he doesn't need it to kill the ship. Um, and he could possibly use it on somebody else. Boy, it seems like it's not going to be possible to get Ark on anything. Uh, too hard left. Barrel boost. I, I don't know. You meant the focus. Okay, gotcha. I mean, maybe just one hard turn Braylon and hope to take a shot in the, the Blue Squadron recruit. He is coming in pretty hot. Uh, 19 points that would get you, and you only need 15. Looks like one player wasn't ready. Focus boost. Too hard right. Focus boost out of Arvel. Oh. Why did he do the two? Stun pilot kills Braylon. And that is it. <laughs> Funwalk says he doesn't want to give Taco the kill. Well. Spins the focus for three on Arvel. Arvel gives up half points on his way out of the game. And that's it. GG. Congratulations to Taco. Walks away with it 181 to 122. Had some real br <laughs> brutality there at the end. But uh, a good game nonetheless. Thanks to both players and congratulations to Taco who advances on to the top eight. Getting those tokens. Thank you to Funwalk for a great match. And thank you to watching. Thank you to those for watching. Yeah. Thank you everybody for watching. That'll be it for this match. Till next time, this is Scott from Hexiled Gaming. Signing off.